morning, everyone. May the Lord richly bless you. May the Lord richly guide you today. I praise God for being here today with you all today on this midweek service. Amen. My name is Senior Patera, Dr. Diana Brevan of Jesus is Lord Fellowship Worldwide International. Amen. Father God, Lord Jesus, as we gather this day, we ask that you bless those that are delivering your word today on, uh, during midweek, Father God, especially your very own Senior Patera, Dr. Diana Brevan, with this amazing message. We also ask that all of those receiving your word today will do so with an open heart, Father God. And your message will be written in, in, in their spirit man program. We also hold up all the leadership of Jesus' Lord Fellowship and all of the prayer warriors, amen. And we pray that you will build a hedge of protection wrapped around their lives and all of their household lives and all family and loved ones lives amen amen and amen and amen uh, today's announcements for the week which i'm pretty excited always to share about the announcements amen uh, we have a lot going on within this ministry worldwide amen um sunday morning service it's going to be on may the 7th glory to god huh, and i don't want you to miss it amen um the moments with deacon matthew it's going to be next in Exodus chapter 2, verses 11 to 25 on May the 5th. Amen. Uh, certified Bible studies. Amen. Oh, I am so proud of many of you who are studying the Word of God worldwide with us. Amen. You guys are doing amazing this year in the book of Mark. Amen. Um. I wanted to share with you before I continue to go on. Excuse me for that blank for a minute. I wanted to share with you because I was here uh, praying and thinking uh, what announcement to share next. But through the Lord's grace, I wanted to share with you many of you who would like to study the Word of God as a group in your home. You are welcome to do so within our book of Mark. Amen. Within our Bible studies. As long as you as leader of your home will be able to send in each week every one studies and then send them in you could send them in through attachment or you could send them in through the snail mail through the PO box amen of Jesus is Lord fellowship PO box 2752 in Venice Florida you're welcome to do so and um, through the Lord's grace, at the end of the year, everyone will receive their GPA grades together with your certification. Amen. I look forward to serving you this whole year. I, I look forward to instructing you. I look forward every week to supply you with the Lord's word. That's all this ministry is all about, the word of God, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we do supply you daily with the pure word of God amen uh, today's sermon is spoken by your very own senior patora Dr. Diana Brevon and today's sermon is called the requirements of prayer and praying amen now let us pray as we listen today to our hearts and our inner soul man program that God will open uh, open to the word so that we may feed freely upon the message and we may drink from the Holy Spirit. Amen. We welcome you all of the national and all of the international fellowship members and visitors around the globe as you receive the spiritual nutrition of the Lord's word. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you today around the globe. I am Senior Patora, Dr. Diana Bravano of Jesus is Lord Fellowship Worldwide International. Amen. Let us prepare ourselves and open up your Bibles to Genesis chapter 10, 22 to 23. Genesis chapter, uh, chapter 10, verses 22 to 23. 
Folks, those of you who has um, pads or any of your electronics, welcome to get that prepared as well. Also, your notepads, your pens, and whatever else that you have to write down your notes. Amen. Today's sermon again is the requirements of praying and prayer. Amen. Before I start, I wanted to thank everyone there at the at the Y at the YWCA. Amen. They have been such amazing. Amen. Throughout the therapies, throughout the treatments. Amen. It is one amazing place that the Lord has opened up doors to. Amen. In Citrus County here. And uh, through the Lord's grace, I feel great today. I feel motivated today. So I wanted to give a shout out today to everybody at the Citrus County Branch, YMCA, um, the Sun Coast. Amen. Through the Lord's grace. It is um, Citrus Memorial Hospital's branch. And through the Lord's grace, I wanted to praise God for each and every one of them there. Amen. Uh, for everything that they do. That's what I would like to do today. I would like to shout out to each and every one there and to say welcome to this message and also to let them know that they are all amazing and, and, and they are a blessing for everything that they do. Amen. Um, through the Lord's grace, because everyone leaves that place as winners. Amen. That's all I could tell you that right now. I was a Y taught as a as a young child. <laughs> my mom, my mom put me in the water as a tiny tot at the Y, and it's just amazing. It's just amazing. And now today, for the rest of my days, it's water exercises and activity, and also other strenuous activities to to help keep my body moving and. They are amazing. I feel great. If you would have heard my voice maybe about a month ago or maybe a few weeks ago, <laughs> uh, through the Lord's grace, you would have heard your pastora in a different way. Now, even my respiratory is doing uh, amazing today. Amen. So God bless you all. Let's get into the word. And I just wanted to praise God for his amazing grace for my health and for my healing, and for everyone worldwide's health and healing. Amen. Uh, today, let us get into the Word. Amen. Biblically, there's a clear difference between before and after Jesus went to the cross. Amen. When we pray, we need to be aware of that difference. We can detect the difference when we carefully read the, the scriptures. Under the old covenant, the people were commanded to follow the letter of the law and, the, and maintain strict obedience. First, in order to, to be blessed, under the new covenant established by Jesus' blood, we are already blessed because of our faith in what he did. In the light, of what Jesus did on the cross, folks. There's a right way and there is a wrong way to pray. And then, under the old covenant, Abraham, he prayed on behalf of a few righteous people in Sodom. And then, if you could go there to Genesis chapter 18, 22. And then, by comparison, when Jesus went to the cross... He was the perfect sacrifice for all time, for the whole world. He made intercessory prayer to the Father on behalf of all the nations. Not just one city. Jesus came for every sinner and every unrighteous person in the world. Unlike there in the Old Covenant, God does not even punish people. When we see natural disasters and when we see evil acts, it is not him who's responsible. It's not him who's responsible. Amen. Amen. Uh, Paul. Paul prayed for a 
others. Amen. <clears throat> Let me get some water here. <coughs> Excuse me. When Paul prayed, Paul prayed for others to receive the spirit of wisdom and the res revelation of how to pray correctly. Ephesians chapter 1, 15 to 17. Amen. Wherever, wherefore, <coughs> I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, I love unto all the saints, cease not to give thanks for you, making mention of you in my prayers that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and the spirit of revelation in the knowledge of Him. You see now, my friend, this scripture is here. It takes into consideration the finished works of Jesus Christ. We are to make intercessory prayer and supplication, and we are to give thanks for everyone. In 1 Timothy 2, 1-4, I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men, for kings and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceful life in all godliness and honesty. For this is the good and acceptable in the Lord's sight of God, our Father, our Savior. Who will have all man to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of all truth? Pray for everyone to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Under the new covenant we are to preach not just the, the gospel but Jesus himself the great commission was Jesus instructions not just for a few but for everyone in Colossians chapter 4 verse 3 with all praying also for us that God would open upon unto us a door of utterance amen to speak the mystery of Christ for which I am also in bonds when God opens up the doors for us folks we should open up our mouth and utter the word Jesus reconciles us to God and Jesus has given us the spirit of reconciliation in 2nd Corinthians 5 18 and all things are of God who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation God does not hold our sins against us Jesus is the me mediator between God and man we don't need to stand in the gap when we offer up intercessory prayer and first Timothy 2 5 after the cross Jesus is now the mediator under the new covenant in Hebrews chapter 8 6 when God spoke to Solomon after he finished building the house of the Lord the message was clearly under the old covenant God used the, the if-thens line amen God used the if-thens line of reasoning when he told Solomon that the people had to do four specific things before being blessed in 2nd Chronicles chapter 7 verse 13 to 14 Amen under the brand new covenant Jesus had already healed and he had already forgiven the people and when we preach the gospel of the cross folks Jesus will confirm what we say with the signs and with the wonders. My name is Senior Patora, Dr. Diana Brevan of Jesus is Lord Fellowship of our international folks. I pray that you have enjoyed today's 
short service, short message, and short service. Amen. Uh, please contact us for any prayers and also for your celebration of praise of what the Lord has done. Amen. Um, for any thing that you would like to contact us with for any word of the Bible that, that you would have a question with, please send your questions in. Amen. We would love to hear from you. Amen. Do you have any questions in reference to the GPA certification? Write it in. Send it in through the email or through the P.O. box. Amen. We would love to hear from you. The Lord is opening up doors within <laughs> that no man cannot shut. And we are currently preparing and, and building it up. And I am pretty excited about it. Amen. And I know many of you are too along with me who has been mighty, awesome, amazing prayer warriors worldwide. You guys are a blessing. Continue to keep everything in prayer in the prayer rooms as well. Um, I have confirmed a few prayer requests, so please continue to keep that in prayer. Amen. Every single request. Anybody who needs prayer, again. Please send in your prayer requests. Please send in your questions that you may have. Amen. Even if you would like to talk about the sermons or you have any questions or, or, or you would like to talk about um, the daily devotionals that are right, please communicate with us. I'm looking forward to hearing from you soon. God bless you. My name is Senior Patora, Dr. Diana Bravan of Jesus' Lord Fellowship, Worldwide International where Jesus is Lord.